Web 2.0. And what I know about Web 2.0 wouldn't fit on one pixel of a, of a computer screen. There's no doubt that uh, collaborative tools, Web 2 tools, mo motivate learners and currently enjoy a real sort of unusual degree of coolness. Yeah, Web 2 technology. Um, for, for adults that you're trying to engage, perhaps um, hard to reach learners, um, Web2 technologies are, can act as a bridge. They, they are about learners creating their own content, which is powerful in itself, but it's also about giving learners uh, a voice and enabling them to, to communicate using a variety of different channels. Um, blogs, for example, are, are a simple way of learners um, uh, expressing themselves in writing, um, sharing that writing with, with their peers, commenting on each other's writing. Well, my understanding, it may not be absolutely correct, but my understanding is that it's about the web changing from being primarily a means of transmitting content to being a means of, for people to communicate, for people to use um, software and interactive systems that are actually based on the web, rather than just using it as a sort of more modern version of broadcasting. Well, Web 2.0 is a term that was first coined by um, Dale Doherty and Tim O'Reilly, and it refers basically to the next generation of web services beyond 1.0. It tends to comprise the most social softwares like wikis and blogs and taxonomies, but there are some disagreements among people about what falls into which category. To my mind, you can define Web 2 as being anything which gives more autonomy to a user and in fact to relatively naive users. The important thing about Web2 technologies is that you don't have to get permission to do things. If you want to set up a discussion about something, you do it there and then. You set up your wiki there and then. You, you put a movie up, and you ask people to discuss about it. There's, there's activity, there's a vibrancy about what's going on um, that some more traditional technologies can't, just can't pick up. Uh, just to give one example, I was recently involved in a wiki, but it was a wiki that produced an FAQ, a series of questions and answers, and each person in the group was entitled or able to put up a question, put up an answer, or modify somebody else's answer. So we've got to find easy ways for them to access it and take away all the tricky stuff. Um, the important thing for, for learners to be doing is to be expressing themselves, whether it's in writing or, or, or by speaking, um, to be having a dialogue with their peers as well as their tutors and teachers. Web 2.0 tools for learning, um, things I've used personally in my own experience, wikis and blogs. Um, wikis particularly powerful because you've got the chance there to, to get people involved in, in what's actually going on, to look back, to um, track um, user involvement, to steer a document, to work collaboratively over, over vast distances, um, so not just restrained by geography as well. Web 2.0 wouldn't fit on one. We're using so. blogs and wikis and all of those kinds of cool things to try to get people to interact with one another.